Welcome back guys. Today I am doing one of my favorite, I know I've been saying this a lot lately, but this truly is one of my favorite types of looks to do ever. This is beautiful, fresh face, natural makeup, no makeup makeup. This is the type of makeup you could wear for every day, but look super glowy and dewy. And that's kind of the vibe that I was going for, just like really beautiful glowy skin. This is actually the type of makeup that I used to do all the time when I worked on set because they always wanted the models to look very natural but still very beautiful so i'm going to be sharing a lot of my pro tips with you guys today things that i've never disclosed in videos before so i'm excited about that i hope you guys love this look let's get started so i actually want to show you guys what i used before i even get into the makeup what i used on my skin because this product is awesome. It is the Clinique Turnaround Revitalizing Instant Facial. I don't know if you guys get this, but sometimes I feel like my skin feels like it needs to be scrubbed. Like I need to get those dead, dead skin cells off my skin. This is really nice because it's like an everyday scrub. It's gentle enough to be used every day. And after you use it, it makes your skin feel so super soft and smooth, which is perfect for before applying makeup. And then I'm going in with the MAC Fix Plus as just a hydrating mist. I love spraying mists on my face. There's a lot to choose from that I really love. There is the Elixir from Caudalie. I'm gonna mention them in upcoming videos. I'm gonna try to do a bit more prep, skincare prep before the makeup because it's very vital. I always do it, but I usually don't film it. And then I always do a little bit of a lip conditioner, good old Burt's Bees. One of my favorite primers is the Makeup Forever HD Primer. Primer really depends on your skin type. So because I'm oily, I like something that's a bit more oil control. This one is great. This one works actually pretty much for everyone. When I used to work at Makeup Forever at the counter, I literally used this primer on everyone and it always made the makeup look so much better. Especially for a makeup like this, you wanna make sure you, that your skin looks amazing before you even start putting makeup on. My absolute favorite, favorite of all time, this is the Lancome La Base Pore Eraser. This stuff is a miracle. I really hope that they don't stop making this for whatever reason, because I've done a lot, I've, I tested out so many pore minimizers, especially when I was filming my how to make your pores disappear video, which I'll link for you guys. Just click on that eye in the corner. I tested out so many and this hands down was the best one. Look at that, it makes such a difference and it just has such a unique te texture that none of the other ones had. So for sure, this is one of my favorites. Look at that, it works so well. An eye cream. One of my favorites, this is from Koda Lee. I'll link everything for you guys below. With eye cream, the thing is you don't wanna use a lot. That's the most, rub it into your ring finger and then just pat it on and then blend it out. Definitely wanna be gentle with this delicate eye area. And I love using eye creams before I even get into the makeup because your concealer will go on so much better. Everything will just blend around that area so much better, especially your concealer. Okay, that was full face prep. My skin feels great. Now we're ready to get into the makeup. I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I used to do when I worked on set. The trick is to basically apply highlighter, some kind of liquid cream highlighter, before you even apply foundation. Clinique Hefty Highlight. So you actually apply highlight onto the skin before you apply foundation. You can go a little bit heavier because we are gonna blend this out and we're gonna apply product over it. So it's gonna give your foundation this really beautiful dewy texture. Like look how pretty that is just on its own. That is really nice. What you could also do is you could actually mix it into your foundation. So today I'm using the Clinique Super Balance Silk Makeup. I'm using the Benefit High Beam and adding, I don't wanna get this all over the place and adding a little bit to it like that. 
you mix it together. And then also because I want that really, really dewy finish on my skin, I'm going to use a beauty blender. I find that this gives just the most natural application. I love to wet the beauty blender that just blends the foundation so nice and it literally looks like you have nothing on. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but the foundation is picking up such a beautiful highlight already without putting anything on our skin except mixing the highlighter in there. I love this trick. I can't believe I gave away one of these tricks. <laughs> this is like a golden secret pro tip. Obviously I give away all my secrets, but this is a good one. <laughs> you guys are gonna notice such a difference. Oh my God, look at that. That looks so beautiful. I can't get over this. I've never really done it on camera like this, so. You could pretty much just do this and call it a day, a little bit of concealer and chapstick, and amazing, beautiful, natural makeup is done. Love that. Now it's time for concealer. Let's do this one. I know I'm totally playing out the NARS concealer, but it's so good, guys. I really like it. It does the job very well, so if it's not broken, don't fix it. <laughs> totally missed that, Sega. If it's not, no. What? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. There you go. Thank you. Just took me a second. I mentioned in my other video why my top five best concealers, why I love this, because it's really creamy, but it's also thick. So that's not usual for concealers. It's kind of hard to find, to be honest. And to find a nice creamy texture that also gives you coverage is rare. I'm using my hands for the most part, my fingers I mean, and then also kind of just blending out the edges with the beauty blender. I'm about to share with you guys another one of my secrets only because <laughs> you know i've been thinking a lot about why i do these videos why i've been doing these videos for so many years and the thing that i realize is the bottom line is i want women and girls to feel good to look their best to feel their best and if i am empowering you guys in the way you feel by helping you have confidence in the way you look that's exactly the purpose of all this so next product is a very special one <laughs> nobody talks about it but nobody talks about it on youtube because i don't think anybody uses it to be honest or maybe i'm clueless it is the laura mercier secret brightening powder this is just for the under eye area it's a very special powder because it literally makes your skin look flawless under there if you apply a normal translucent powder like even if you apply the laura mercier translucent powder underneath your eyes it can look very ashy very gray and it just does not look nice this one however it's like this beautiful brightening powder and just tap a lot of that off this is what i use to set my concealer It actually has secret in the name. It's a secret brightening powder because it's like one of those things that we all, like pros, we all use it, but we don't share it <laughs> because it's so good. Anyways, look how beautiful that is. It sets your makeup beautifully. It doesn't change the color of your concealer. It's like one of those things that it's, it's just, it's magic. And I'm sure you guys can tell, like I'm so, gentle when I do this. I'm not pressing, I'm barely touching my skin. Love it. 
love that oh my god obsessed if you're oily or combination skin i definitely recommend applying a powder if you are dry to normal you don't need to do this step but i'm going to this is the laura mercier translucent setting powder and i'm going to use a puff this is one of my favorite ways to apply powder because it really just sets the powder into the makeup and it holds everything and you can kind of control where it goes so i like to cocoon the puff take most of the product off the back of my hand and then go in and roll the powder onto my skin but really just in the areas that I need it, like I'm not gonna put powder here because I want that highlight to come through, right? So we want the skin to still look really dewy, really glowy, but not shiny, not like oily, oil slick shiny. If you are oily skin tone, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that is never a good look. Next, I'm gonna do brows. This is one of my favorite parts of any look because this is what can change in your entire face. I know the trend right now, like really perfect manicured brows. I never did that when I was on set. I never, ever, ever, ever did that. It was always like really undone natural brows. So I love to brush up the hair. I'm using the MAC Lingering Pencil. I hope that there's some left i think it's like at the end here and then if you just flick the pencil to create to fill in your brows but make it look as if it's just natural hair this is going to get you a very natural look so flick 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 I, also, I always try to keep brushing the hairs throughout while I'm doing my eyebrows, just to get an idea of how it's looking. Another little trick that I love to do, which I find makes brows look really natural, is if you run a brow gel through them. It could be clear or it could be colored. This one from Tweezerman is probably one of my favorite clear brow gels because it holds the brows really well. This is the Brow Mousse. The, what the brow gel does is it puts texture back into your brows so if you use a powder or a pencil or whatever sometimes it can make the brows look really filled in and fake whereas the brow gel will give that look of real hair again so i really wanted to use a cream blush for the cheeks because again i want that super dewy natural flush like i want it to look like you've been running outside and you just have a natural flush to your skin i do not have a lot of cream blushes but i do have this one from bh cosmetics this is from the ashley tisdell collection it's their illuminate uh cream cheek and lip tint this is a beautiful color it's a beautiful cream blush and i just started using bh cosmetics I'm shocked at how good it is. It's actually very impressive. I did a full tutorial using their products. I'll link it for you guys. The eyeshadows were beautiful. The contour colors were beautiful. The lip stuff, everything was so pretty. So you'll definitely see me using a lot more of their stuff. So I am applying this blush with my finger and then blending it out. And this is gonna give us the most beautiful natural flush to the skin like look how natural that looks it's so pretty and you could already see we're still seeing that highlighter coming through from the foundation i haven't added any more highlighter that's just from the highlighter we mixed in which is beautiful start with a little and build <laughs> Don't go crazy with it from the beginning because cream blush is definitely one of those things that's hard to blend out. So you don't wanna go overboard. Just a little bit at a time, it's gonna give you the most natural looking finish. You guys, this is so nice. <laughs> I can't get over it. I had one other product that I wanted to use as well, but I don't know if I need it. I'm 
some debating. So you can definitely leave it like this. If you feel like you went overboard, take your beauty blender and blend it out a little bit. I'm gonna leave it for now. It might look a little bit bright, but we still need to do eyes and lips. So it might tone down. For the eyes, I love to use cream stick pencils for this type of look. So I have a few here. Um, these are kind of the tones that I'm going for. So bronzy, shimmery. I love this one from Makeup Forever. It's kind of that perfect bronzy tone. The caviar sticks, I hope I'm saying that right. Is that right? Yes. Is it? Caviar sticks, yeah, <laughs> from Laura Mercier are beautiful. I have these in like almost every color. Brushed bronze, which sounds like the right color. Yeah, this is beautiful. So apply and just blend out. And we want this to look pretty soft, diffused. That's why we're using our finger. Cause we don't want, like we don't want it to look like you have a ton of makeup on. Just basically you woke up like this vibe is what we're going for. <laughs> which is obviously not true. <laughs> Considering how much time we're taking to do this. But that is how no makeup makeup works. I always used to be like, whenever we were on, whenever I was on set and they'd be like, wait, we want a no makeup makeup. Can you do that in like 10 minutes? It's like, uh, no, I need a full hour. <laughs> That's it. That's pretty much what we're going for. We can go, I can do a couple more layers of this just to get it to exactly where I want it. But I am also gonna take the Sephora Colorful Shadow. I will list everything below for you guys. And this is like the perfect highlighty inner corner color. And I like to drag this into that darker color that we applied on the lower lash line. Kind of blend that up. I am using the Makeup Forever excessive lash mascara you know i honestly have not ever found a mascara that i'm like wow this is the best mascara i've ever used has never happened if you guys have a mascara that you swear by that you say is the best mascara that you've ever used i want to know what it is leave it in the comments going back with that clinique chubby stick I'm actually going to use a brush for this. This is one of my favorite ways of applying highlighter is just sweeping it on to the brush. Like this, sweeping it on to the product. I don't even know what I was saying there. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. And I love how just, how this just makes your skin look so, I'm gonna use my fingers for this part just so I could really blend it. I just love everything about this. I don't know if you guys are into this type of look or not, but to me, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite for natural. You're getting like the beautiful highlight on your eyes, on your cheek, and it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm having a moment. <laughs> this makeup definitely looks beautiful in pictures. So you could throw on lashes and then it could be like a really beautiful day look. Or you can throw on lashes and a little bit of a really thin brown liner and then it could be a wedding bridal look. For the lips, I'm going to try out this chubby stick because I wanted to try it for the cheeks and I didn't. Let's just see how this looks. Actually do this with my finger. And for the lips, it definitely doesn't look perfect. You want it to look like you kind of just bit your lip or something and you have a lot of natural color coming through. So don't kill me guys, but I think I'm gonna throw on lashes. I'm gonna do it. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I went for it, but I kept it super natural and I did classic 
classic lashes. These are probably some of my all-time favorite lashes that I've ever used, that I will always use. They are the Ardell Demi Wispies. They're short in the inner corner and then long shortened in a corner and then long on the outer edges so they give a really natural effect on your eyes and honestly you can barely tell that i have lashes on so i am happy with this decision and let me finish up the other eye and one last thing i decided to add a little bit more gloss to my lips i'm using the lancome juicy shaker and lemon explosion just to give it that really fresh, dewy vibe all over. Oops, that's a bit, oh, that's a bit too much. <laughs> there we go. And that is the final look for this super natural, fresh face, dewy, glowy makeup. I hope you guys have fun trying this out. And if you do, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Watch my last video right here, and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.